Hello everybody, welcome back to more Undermine. Today we're going to be checking out the other mine mode in 1.0, see how it has changed. If you don't know what this mode is, it's kind of a self-contained roguelike mode. All of the meta progression and permanent upgrades that kind of make this more uh, pushed closer to a roguelite kind of a game is stripped from the game entirely. You are, it's all self-contained, you start at square one when you enter, and you'll get those meta progression things in the course of the run, and then they will be stripped away by the end of the run. So there's twice as many kind of items in the game, but you will not have to uh, worry about uh, how far you are with the meta progress. I just thought it might be a good idea to check out this mode to showcase what this is uh, for people who don't know what it is, and maybe, maybe you'll like this better, maybe you want to see this moving forward, maybe you want to see the other thing moving forward. So here is our antechamber here. Oh god, we can, we can hex our runs in here too, that's good to know. So, first of all, there's a chest right here, you open the bad boy up. This is where you get a couple of the things that in the base game are meta progression, but here just helps us on the current run. We got three health upgrades, three ranged attack upgrades, uh, I mean technically we got two, because uh, one, this in theory says one right here. So we got two upgrades, two upgrades, one upgrade. Upgrade to bomb as well. Uh, it looks like a couple of things do carry over. That being like these weird upgrades. So we won't have as... We won't have everything. We won't have everything. But we have to pick up our stuff from this chest. We have to pick one of these, one of these, one curse even, and then one pet. I'm going to pick up the canary... The miner flask... Which gives us a potion and a potion duration up. Let me go with attack speed instead of a health, extra health from uh, meat. Teleport one hit or decrease potion duration. Let's go with that. It kind of evens things out a little bit. So there's this shield up here. We'll talk about what that does in a future run. It's not really a good way to, uh, to showcase what other mine is for the first time. So we're going to pop on down. It's always the same, uh, or it's the same difficulty. It doesn't matter what summoning stone level you're on. Ah, uh, there's the shop there. But there's also, like, you get a lot less gold. And a thing that happens in the base mode over time is gold actually loses its value entirely at a certain point. Uh, it, because the gold does carry between runs, you can stockpile with, like, one or two really, really good runs. And then trivialize, like, the shop purchases. Oh, my goodness. See, that's a good uh, example of roughly how in pain we will be when we get hit. Oh, boy. We can pick up gold when we throw our pickaxe. Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. Holy moly, though. Things, yeah, they, they hit relatively tough. Relatively tough. We have the HP uh, HP bar upgrade as well in the bottom right there. Yeah, obviously. I'm sure you see. Tells you what the name of all these enemies is. Ooh, is. Boy, boy, boy. And the HP, of course. So you can focus them down maybe a little bit better instead of maybe being quite as flaily. But let's be honest. We're still going to be flaily. Uh, I think that's worth a bomb. We could have probably put it right here so we could have maybe found a secret crawl space as well. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Tis what tis. Tis what tis. Got 175 bucks. It might be worth it to go to the shop just to see sort of how things are right now. Let's see. What do you got, baby? What do you got? But that room that we started in, there's going to be one of those on every single floor after the boss. We are not going to fight every boss from the base game in this. We're not going to fight every boss. We're only going to fight a handful of them. Sure, I'll skip that. Uh, we're, I think we only fight three? Three or four. I I don't remember if it's three or four. Also, of course, they may have changed it. Hmm. Hmm. I think I made a mistake by not removing my major curse. Because this is a major curse. This is a minor curse. That's a major curse. I could have spent 50 health. I just didn't really feel like it yet. But, uh... Whoop. Hitting for 20, 25. Yeah, I, th I think that this is... This is looking like a throw-focused a throw focused run. And that's something that can happen a little bit more often in other mine, is is getting runs that are more more focused on one thing. 
happens a little bit more frequently, I, I found. Because you get the upgrades out of the chest right away. You get uh, you get them on every floor after the boss. can really add up. So here's a transmute machine. We could transmute this to another thing if we didn't like it. But I think the battle standard is good enough. Basically, the, deciding whether or not to reroll comes down to... Do I think that 50% of the items in the game are better than this? And the answer to battle standard... I would say probably not... I'd say that it's it's probably just barely in the upper 50th or like 50th percentile. If I were to take a random uh, guess in the dark, I don't really want two keys for a chest that's going to inflict turmoil on me, if I'm going to be honest. Key doubler. Sometimes drop a new key when using an old key. I, I would like that. I would totally do that. 1,000%. Ah, it's the gargoyle. Another thing is... Ah, but I dodged you. <laughs> the only way I know how. Jumping into a pit. Um, an interesting thing. We got l lucky in a way. <laughs> kind of, sort of. We don't always start on this floor. Yes, it's the first floor in the base game. Oh, hell yeah. There's our extra bomb we needed. There's the extra bomb we needed. You can start on any any floor layout, and it's always going to be exactly... It's supposed to be exactly as difficult as the other layouts. Like, we could have started in the Molten Core, you know? We could be in the Molten Core right now. But it would just be the same thing, just a, just a different visual layout, which I'm a fan of. And at the end of this zone, we may not necessarily fight Selt, the first boss. We may fight... We may fight Seer. We may fight literally anybody. Ponzu. Could be anybody. Hell, maybe even Ar Ar spoilers, big spoilers. Arcanos maybe is in there if you missed the last episode. Who knows? We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I doubt that he will be. I wouldn't, you know, I guess, like, it's possible that he's the... Oh, hell yeah, there we can move one of our curses. Maybe we have to fight him at the end of the run, but honestly, I kind of doubt it. I think that he's going to remain... A, a self-contained thing beyond the portal. Uh, I'm going to go with the health pickup here. I don't think I'm ever really going to buy bomb damage, if I'm going to be honest. I don't think it's... I don't think it's worth it, for the most part. Fun thing about the run is, yeah, we don't have to care about um, our gold economy after the game. <sighs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not really much of a uh, support my future self kind of a guy. <laughs> I'm not really a I'm not really a future planner helper uh, non self destructive tendency kind of a guy. That ain't me. That ain't me. So we're not gonna put anything on that pedestal. I want this first run. Like that's the kind of thing where we'll probably uh, showcase it a little bit more as we. God, the attack speed is so nice. As we play more, I just the first run. I want to make sure the first run. I would ideally like to win so I can showcase the most of the mode. There is a built-in streaking system, which I like quite a bit. It's the crown system. You may have noticed we got a little bit of a, uh, a tiny silverish crown on the top of our dang dome. Every time we win, it will get upgraded. Or at least every time we win up to like 30, and then it's like every couple wins. Hmm. Sure. It's the exact same thing just happened, basically. We got the same exact curse. And there's the other thing on... It's only three floors until we fight a boss on this mode, which I personally like. I think it... Mm. You don't re-roll Keyblade even on a throw run. You don't re-roll Keyblade. This can... Unless they've changed it, which they may have because it's notoriously been one of the uh, most overpowered items in the game since... I, yeah, pretty much since ever, basically. Increases your damage based off of how many keys you have. And there's ways in the game to kind of like abuse the system and get like a large, large amount of keys. I don't like the super expensive shop we got, but it's okay with me. We got it, we got it. Key. No. Yeah, we got got pretty hard there, didn't we? 
Okay, uh, we're out of here. What is this again? Throw size. Hardly, hardly a big deal, but I'm gonna do it anyways. So we got Selt. I don't know, maybe the first time you do other mine, it puts you through the, uh, the natural, the natural path. Uh, you can see here, this is like apparently the, uh, you know, like the intended difficulty of the boss, the first boss. It's kind of interesting, I was talking about it before, with meta progression upgrades being a thing, you don't know when the, the devs technically, like, quote-unquote, want you to be able to beat the first boss. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna expend. I'm gonna expend a bomb for the uh, good old, I think, 250 damage. Good old 250 damage. Just uh, makes it more likely that we will not die. Not that I'm really concerned about it too much. It's more just uh, I don't want to lose health because that health we will, you know, have to. We'll have to deal with whatever penalty we set for ourselves. Huh. On the next floor. Get back here, Selt. Get back here. Get back here. Doink. Easy peasy. Also, thank you to More Than Awesome for supporting on Patreon. Very, very appreciated. Getting your name on a peasant. Oh! Getting your name on a peasant. Anybody who supports at the $5 tier or higher gets their name on a peasant. You can claim a run for yourself. This one belongs to Brad. More Than Awesome. Oh! It's new. I have to take. I is. I'm legally obligated to pick it. Ooh. We don't have to wait for it to come back. Or we only have to wait for one of them to come back. This seems very good. I guess I'll take tax meat. I don't know. Relics have a chance to be turned into potions or healing is less effective. I would rather not have our relics, which is our passive items like key blade, key doubler, etc. Be turned into potions. Yeah, we're just like on the normal path right now, aren't we? Wait, can I only hit him with one? I can't tell. I can't tell if that, it looked like it was only doing one hit. Okay, 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 I see. I see now. It's not the type of buff I thought it was. I bet you if we had Spectral Pickaxe, we could get some, uh, some double dipping damage action. But right now we don't have that, oh my god. Wow, right now we don't have that. Uh, cause special pickaxe, if you don't remember, it was from, we did have it yesterday, it makes it so, the pickaxe, when they hit an enemy, they will bounce to another one. You know what? I'm gonna start to remove some stuff, because if I could get rid of fever, that'd be great. Fast metabolism, the decreased per potion duration, I mean, I don't like it. I definitely don't like it, but it is fine for now. Like, we don't, especially right now where we literally don't even have a potion anyways. But I'm liking, I'm liking this fork item. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Obviously, if we did triple damage, that would be busted strong. So it's probably good that it's not that. Also, I just, I, I really like that as soon as any pickaxe hits the wall, we can throw another one. We could use that to our advantage. I'm sure we can find a way to. I'm sure we could bust the game wide open. Yeah, we're on under other mine four now. That's why we d we don't call it the uh, heck is it the dungeons? We don't call it the dungeons. Sure, we'll get that stuff. We'll get that stuff. We'll take it. Move on. That stuff. Take it. Move on. All right, all right. Other mine five, yeah. So other mine six is when we will fight our next boss. God, we're not gonna we're not gonna get any value out of Keyblade on this mode. I've always found it to be um, less busted in this mode since keys are 
less plentiful. Oh man, I dig this. It's a it's a nice room clear item. Fork is. It's a nice room clear item. I imagine it's not gonna be that important on any bosses, except maybe ones that have adds. Uh, so mortar, I guess, could be good with the orbs. You could probably hit more than one at the same time on a uh, nice throw focused run. Uh, obviously, Ponzu's got adds. Eh, that's, that's about it. There might be situations where you could get value out of it on. Wow, with the lightning, forked lightning, nice. Oh, four key room. On other mine, there's the uh, the normal item room that has it costs one key. And there's also the seemingly egregiously priced four key rooms, but they're really just there as bonuses if you just happen to have, uh, you know, like a, an extreme excess of keys. Come on, oh, that would have been stonks. Okay, extra bomb damage, bomb damage immunity, uh, extra food in every shop. How much is food? 50. We have to use it six times to get our money's worth. Or throw distance. Kind of like our weird shotgun blast. Hmm. Throw distance is one of the weirder... Weirder upgrades since... I feel like, since uh, for the most part, you can't really throw your pickaxe until you get it back. Obviously, today's a kind of a weird story. You can have too much, it feels as though. Because it can take longer for it to get back to you if you don't have the right amount of uh, throw speed to kind of counteract it. It can be a problem. Right now, I'm kind of considering the bomb immunity so we don't blow ourselves up. Just like a like a self precaution, I'm gonna spoil something from the, and I'm also gonna do this so we can get an extra option at every altar. Uh, maybe we can focus a throw run because we actually have not had literally any throw damage options show up at those altars, even though it is in our pool. So that is a little little on the weird side. Spoilers for the old series of uh, the old other mind series. See, I did indeed do an entire series exclusively on the other mine mode. Uh, we were streaking. We did. Uh, we were on like, God, what was it? 20, 24 or something, somewhere around like twenty-four. We did indeed die to our own bomb. It's lit. Like we were on a run that, that was focused on bomb damage, but I did not have bomb immunity. Okay. First of all, this is. As far as I'm aware, this is just stonks. We could have tried to get the curse removal. Oh god. Oh no. Wait, it was still profit, right? Mm, don't want to take damage right now for that. I think it was still profit. Okay. You nothing, son. You nothing, son. But the, uh, the battle standard is putting in some serious work already. Like that, it goes a long, long way. Yeah, we're <laughs> about that whole key situation, about that keyblade situation. It ain't, uh, it ain't going so hot. Could I have had those spike boys blow this open? I could have sworn you can't. But you know what? I might have been wrong. I think I might have been wrong. Oop. Could be a secret room down here. I would love it if there was! Hell yeah! There's one up there too, but first of all... First things first, I'm doing this. Ooh, baby! Gold Tooth is some an amazing sustain. Sustain yourself on gold, like literally. You uh, heal yourself if you didn't see the last episode. Heal yourself one or two... HP, depending on... What the hell is this? Capture Sphere. Bomb kills permanently increase bomb damage. I am so scared of that. But thank you for adding bomb items. I've always said... There... There could be bomb runs. Bomb runs could be a thing. 
but there was not a lot of items in the game to make them good. Um, yeah. So that seems like a very... See, there you go. Look, we got you baited. It was like, here's a normal run, but now Nori's the second boss instead. Uh, yeah, I mean... Should we be doing a throw situation? Probably. Yeah, of course I wish we could do good old-fashioned triple damage. But that's, like, probably too much to ask, right? I mean, maybe it, uh, maybe it takes the highest roll out of the, the damage, the DPS. I highly, 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 highly doubt it. Really? I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Okay. We gotta light all the fires so we can actually do normal person damage to this boss. Don't know where all the fireballs went, though. Yep. Okay. Line them up, line them up, line them up, line them up. We're doing good, we're doing good. Doing good, doing good, doing good, doing good. Oh, I couldn't even see him! They, I think they changed Nori's visuals, that little fire above the head. And whatever it, uh, whatever it is, seems like Nori can smuggle them boys now. Yep, can smuggle the, uh, the sneaky secret hands, which is... Yikes. Oh, boy. So this is actually a really good way to get blueprints. We got the mediocre ring, which I believe is just a little bit of a uh, little bit of damage, a little bit of HP, maybe even a little bit of attack speed. I don't recall. Next. HP or gold zaps enemies. I feel like our room clear is pretty good, so I'd like to have extra HP. Don't really want to go for bombs since we didn't pick that other thing. And this is the real thing. Chance to lose a key when you take damage or all enemies inflict poison. Both of these suck, man. Both of these suck. I mean, that's really... It's really what it is. It's They're like, here you go. Pick the lesser of two evils if you can. And there we go. Now we just get zipped right up to the fourth floor. But like I said, you can you can get this as your first floor. You can get this as your uh, as your last floor. Doesn't matter. It's it's random here. It's it's which is nice. Like the the enemies that show up should always be the same. No matter like on other mine seven, the enemies should be whoop, roughly the same. Ah oh, god. Oh no. Oh no. We're getting bopped. We're getting bopped. Finally got a key. Should I use it or save it? Use it or save it. I kind of want to remove my curses. But I'm stupid. So we're not going to do that. A little bit of HP and we end whenever you enter every room. I'll take it. Should be like, I don't know, like eight. Six. We have a, yeah, we have a debuff. Oh my God. Oh my God. We're actually getting toasted here. That poison. That poison. We're getting toasted. Roasted and toasted. Uh-oh. I would love if we could make it into the uh, the shop. Oh my god. That was unbelievably risky for like two HP difference. Probably not. It was probably a little bit more than two HP, but still. I feel like there's a secret room here. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <gasps> What's this? What's this? It's a freaking key. What's this? Mm. I gotta do it, right? Maybe we can save up and get 275 bucks to remove a curse. And then like we could spend we could spend 50 health to get a curse probably, right? Mm -hmm. We could 
probably spend 50 health to get to remove a curse. Uh oh. This is a tiny room for this. But it looks like since there are multiple segments, our pickaxe does work. Oh no. Gotta hit the crystal. Pickaxe does work in hitting more than one. Cool. 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 Totally not gonna get enough money. Uh, I'm conflicted as hell. If I knew for a fact removing the curse was going to remove this one, it'd be a different story, but it is random. It is random. Please. <gasps> Alright, I think it was worth it. I think that... I think that that's going to save us 50 health worth of damage over the course of the run. I think so. I think that was a freebie. Accidental freebie from the game there. Oh, God. Oh, God. Be good, be good, be good, be good. Be good, be good, be good. Alright. Down we go. Other money. Other money. Other money. 8, 9, then a boss. 10, 11, 12, final boss. Final boss could be anybody. Personally, I hope it is uh, Mortar, the game, which is normally the game's no, uh, second boss. The Electric Orb Stone Boyo. Personally. If I could skip Ponzu or Seer, I would be very happy. I'd be very happy if we could skip either Ponzu or Seer. And it's pretty likely that we will. Uh, 75 HP to remove a curse. Seems like a bad trade. Here's what I think is a good trade. We'll take this potion. It drops three meat on the ground. We will find a room that has a torch so that we can cook it. If we cook it, then uh, we'll get extra value out of it. Because normally it... That potion costs the same as three pieces of meat. So it's kind of a net neutral to just buy that or three pieces of meat. But if you cook the meat, if you can cook it all, it's a different story. Oh boy. I wonder if... Does this count? Nope. Can't hit with more than one. Cannot hit with more than one. All right, all right, all right, all right. Can we pull that guy into the pit? I mean, I don't think I did anything to make that happen, so I don't think I can take credit, but I'm going to say absolutely I can. It was me the whole time. Okay, watch out for the teleporty boys. Yeah, these guys are way less annoying in other mine. You can really tell how difficult everything is supposed to be in this mode. Which is nice, because it's it's way more... Hopefully there's just a torch. There's way more intentionality. Intentional... Intentionality? Is that a word? It is now. Intentitude. Cook it all. Eat it all. Good deal, stonks. Good deal, stonks. That is a shop potion. We can take that down to the next floor where it'll probably be more valuable I would imagine. We don't really have very much money. Okay. Book it. <sighs> or... Eh. Ooh. Deal more damage when you crit. Deal more damage when you crit. It's not crit more often. This would go really, really well with that new item that we had yesterday that was... <laughs> Making it so we had like a 400%, 500% chance to crit. Uh, AKA, it literally just every hit was a crit. You can't have more than 100. Oh, it'd be really, really good with that. Really, really good with that. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I feel like when we have our, uh, oh my God, our banner buff, we're kind of a melee run. It feels like it functions better. The attack speed functions better with the swinging. We're hitting hard. Hitting hard. Hello there, lone boy. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Feel a little bad about that now, huh? Okay. Oops. Don't call him a lonely boy. Lonely boy and then literally kill him. 
Wow. I never get lucky in the skeleton room. That's really, really good. That's very good payout. Maybe I had to sacrifice the first one. It was the, uh, it's the way. It's the new luck strat. Sacrifice the first one to get goods from all of them. Uh, this is not the way to do this. That's like, it's like almost exactly the wrong way to do that. But it worked, so it can't be that bad, right? Can't be that bad. I don't know that I care about our penalties right now. I just really wanted to make sure we had uh, we got rid of that other one. This was a bad idea too. We don't have enough money to make this worth it, probably. Um, stealing is fun. Dupes everything on the ground. That's a uh, a pickup. So I mean, hard to beat that deal. Hard to beat that deal. Okay, is this our yeah? There's our one key item room, which is solid. Thank you. Oh my god. Mm, we can't have both. I'm so I'm obviously gonna I'm gonna keep the new one. I don't know if I think that fork is stronger than ricochet or a lot of the other unique throws. But I do think that with uh, Spectral Throw, it could be hilarious. I think that it would be pickaxe literally just like everywhere. Whoop. Just all over the dang place. On the floor, on the ceiling, everywhere. Hmm. That's a really good potion that I'm not gonna take. Secret room? Secret room. Two secret rooms. Good deal. I love it when that happens. AKA, rarely. Let's check our stats here. Currently, our swing damage and our throw damage are equal right now. That's that's pretty messed up when you consider how much we've put into our... Uh, no! How much we've put into our, uh, our throw for it to just be equal right now. Okay, Fork, though. Fork, though. Putting in huge work, though. Yep. Yep. Yet another item that literally just makes Mortar cry. Not that we needed another, because I really don't mind Mortar. Really don't mind Mortar. I'll get, I'll get jank hit every once in a while. But I find Mortar to be a joke. Especially, I think that Mortar may be uh, one of the most accidentally undertuned on other mine. Oop. That's why I asked for Mortar as my final boss, just because I thought it'd be really easy. Because it would be. But yeah, Fork. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Yep. Yeah. So there was Mortar. <laughs> There is Mortar. Always my favorite boss to fight if we can. Bishop's Bomb is like a Bomberman style X cross formation. Uh, explosion on your bomb. Pretty dangerous. Might have been the thing that killed me on that one run. This is a very easy choice. I'm definitely going to go with Popcorn over the one that uh, creates oil on the ground that makes it sort of harder to move around. Or not more harder to move around. Uh, harder to not get set on fire. There we go. Cost of penance is doubled, or enemies release spiders on death. Penance is the thing at the altar that makes you pay HP to remove a curse. Doubling it is pretty bad. I I would rather deal with some spiders if I had to pick, and I did. But we're moving on to our final section. Wow. For the most part, the game's, game stayed relatively canonical. Oop. Put us mostly uh, mostly in order. But maybe we'll fight Ponzu instead. I don't know which I would rather fight between Ponzu and Seer. The boss that normally belongs here. I'd probably rather fight Ponzu since I do have... I have a thing that does help us with, uh, with 
multiple targets. And honestly, I I'm just less familiar with Seer. He was added to the game last. And I didn't I didn't play a ton of the Golden Core update. I didn't play a ton. I played a lot of the uh, during the other mine update, which was right after Ponzu. So I, I'm I'm more familiar with Ponzu. I bet you if I got more used to them, I probably would prefer Seer. This potion makes one item randomly free, and it also can make it, if you have like a locked room, it'll make the lock cost free as well. Can be really handy. I'm trying to decide if the tent is worth it. 300 bucks. For a full heal, basically whenever we want it, once, whenever we want it, is a, it's, it's a nice situation, man. It's a good call. I don't think it'd be a dumb purchase, but, like, it may end up being a waste of money. But is safety a waste of money? Like, is, a, is an insurance policy a waste of money? Is insurance a waste of money? I came here. That's a, This is actually me just uh, asking. That's uh, I, I came to... I started this series to ask this question. Should I get... In, <laughs> should I invest in insurance? How much? What insurance? I'm not actually asking that. That is definitely not the question of the day. Question of the day is what's your least least favorite enemy to fight in Undermine? Who do you think is the scariest enemy to fight? Why do you think I maybe uh, brought it up? Throbo, I don't even know that Throbo is the scariest enemy. He's just one of the mo most notorious. Because he's been in the game for a long time. We don't have good ways to remove our curses. And we are, we're pretty knee-deep now that if we got one that was really, really bad... Oh, well. Hey, let's just go knee-deep in it further, right? Deal less swing damage as a penalty to gain more throw damage. Just keep knee-deep in it now, brother. Knee-deep in it now. Oh, boy. Yeah, I think th I think Throwbow is just one of the most notorious. Because it's a, it's a tough enemy that you can find relatively early... Bobo is probably the uh, the first enemy to give a lot of people trouble, and Throbo is just the natural progress. Oh my god, the natural progression of Bobo, of the Bobo kin. I can't get there. Oh, oh. no point in even killing the skeletons, really, until we do this. Yeah, this room got me good. This room got me good. We have five keys. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Salamander Tail. It makes it so our attacks can set enemies on fire. It also makes it so every time we throw our pickaxe or swing over a, uh, a, a fire thing. A fire... What a fire thing? A torch. Like an unlit torch. We will turn it on. Which can sometimes solve some puzzles. Which is... I'd say just as much the use of it as uh, as setting enemies on fire, to be honest. Should have definitely doubled our... Uh, oh, double our stuff first. Oh well, oh well. Oh well, oh well. Okay. One, two... Oh, Jesus Christ. Zip, zip. Dude, zip, zip. Zip, zip, dude, zip, zip. Zip, zip, dude, zip, zip. I'll check out the shop. I have my... I do have the shop in a pocket. I'm gonna use it now. I know it might be best to just literally wait until the last second right before the final boss, but... This opens if after you take 10 curses. It's far too late in the run. It gives you a bunch of consumables and some uh, and some blessings. It's far too late in the run for that. I don't know. I'm thinking I'm gonna do it for safety. Nah, that ain't me. Let's buy stupid things. Yeah, consumables and keys that are mostly just for damage. I want to hit hard. I want to see the big number. 
I want to see the big number. Ow. Probably should, probably should have held on to that. I don't know. I had it in my head that uh, we couldn't take that with us for some reason. Like, we have a potion. We can't keep that. Uh, increase max health after eating food. I feel like this this item... Someone in the comments was saying it, too. I, I And I I agree. This and, like, the, uh, the crit one, I feel like they just have the chance to be maybe, like, one of the most broken items in the game. Like, with a, with a food duping situation, you can generate a lot of food sometimes. So, like, it could really add up. 20 HP every time. Oh, ew. A bomb and a key to gain a little bit more HP when we use food. When we use food. When we eat food. Seems bad. <sighs> that mid-air correction. Oh. Chef's kiss into death combo, right? Chef's kiss into death combo. Pretty sure that's my brand. Yep. Oh. All right. Butemus, Maximus. Can't possibly be wrong twice. RNG! We got RNG'd. We got RNG'd. Holy moly. All right. I would love to get rid of the spider curse. It does add just like a lot of time to every room, which is never a thing that I love, is just literally adding time. <laughs> just from like a fun standpoint. We got, got a level rank, uh, level rank, level three bird at some point. I don't remember when. I have no clue. I don't remember, don't remember, don't remember when I leveled my bird. It, it. I don't remember, you can take my word. Whatever that song is, I don't remember, man. I don't remember. <laughs> I'm so bad. I just, just have the things I say and sing and everything, I don't even remember. Don't remember which, which thing it's from. I remember like 2% of everything I say. Anyways, so I'll forget it tomorrow. Even if I knew. Ooh, black market. Ah, <laughs> this would be so good to get early. They probably put this in the game to help with bomb runs. Ah. That is a lot of a lot of stuff for sale that we just will not be able to buy. This is a meat, a, a bomb, and a key. This, this drops bombs at our feet that can hurt us. Nope. Nope. Yeah, honestly, I think we're stronger with our swing, but I'm trying desperately to make this a throw run. I think the safety and, uh, and AoE kind of focus of this throw is... I don't know. I think it's holding its own. I think it's making itself worth considering doing, right? This is pretty good. Like, these guys, they do little fire fire glomps. Oh, no! Them boys... Ah, he landed on me? Rude. Rude, mister. Rude, mister. See, this is what I don't like about the spider one. Is it just like... God dang. Makes it slog. We have not been got by a, uh, a mimic yet. <laughs> we have not seen a mimic. They do exist in this game, let me tell you. Do not be uh, lulled into a false sense of security. This is not a roguelike without mimics. In fact, we like we did fight the rock pile mimic, even technically. God, every single part of the slime drops out of spider. It's just a ball of spiders. That's all it is. It's just a ball of spiders. Okay. Double check. 
the shop. We got 323 bucks. Did I buy the tent? No. <laughs> no, that would have been too wise. Um, let's save the money, right? We'll probably get something better on the next floor. Final floor. Final floor. Oh. That's right. You can. I forgot. You can walk in there. You can effectively trade. No! Health for gold. It's so easy to miss gold on the wall of this floor. Of this, this tile set to me. Because the gold looks like those things to an extent. Thanks. Thanks. Those have a rare chance of giving you some uh, some good stuff. But I feel like the percentage payout just feels lower than some of the other uh, other things like that. The other RNG payout machine things. So I generally avoid it. Generally avoid it. No! Poison! It just feels so terrible. It feels so terrible. Ah, the science lab. We can pull this to sometimes get items out of here. This converts this from gold to HP. This is a reroll machine. It's just, you can, if you have a lot of resources, that room can be really, really handy. We don't have a lot of resources. Ooh, a damage potion. A swing damage potion. All right. I guess that that right there decides what we're going to have for our final boss. It is a shame we still have... <laughs> this entire run went by and we still have the curse that we started with on the first floor. We just got uh, lucky or unlucky, depending on your opinion on the curse. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Pay out well, please. I am happy about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Move quick, move quick. We got the Earth sign buff. Got the max HP buff. Move quick, move quick, move quick, move quick, move quick, move quick. Good deal, man. Good deal. Sorry, Keyblade, I'm kind of wrecking you. This gives me a little bit of movement speed, and it makes it so we actually can't take damage from spikes. Which is pretty dang slick. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick it up right now. Pick it up right now. Pick it up right now. Move right now. Pick it up right now. Move right now. Pick it up right now. This is probably not worth my time right now because it is an HP healing percentage up buff. Yeah, it didn't really roll off the tongue in the end now, did it? Um, no point in going for gain extra gold <laughs> at this point. Uh, this is the final floor, <laughs> and you can't take it with you. As mentioned, this is the uh, more traditional roguelike mode, where it all goes away at the end. Yep, yep, yep. I think the best method is usually, like, kill the face, and then really quickly turn around to kill the tail. I think that's, I think that's the strats. Oh boy. I really wish we could have got the, um... Whoop. Spectral pickaxe. Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it in real life. Oh. That was not great. Not great. Shop. What do you got? 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 Hmm... This is just, I don't get it. This is always just a freebie, right? Like, cost 150. Gives us that much. I don't know, how much did it give us? One free hit for the boss. I should probably check out what this shop has to offer. I might lose my Earth Sign buff. I might lose it if I, if I didn't already. I think we just, oh boy. I think we just pick it all up. It'll last for the boss. This is interesting. I really like this item. It makes it so that this, what I'm doing right now, is a strat. I'm just, it's not worth my time to go back and uh, mess with it. It makes it th so that that's an actual genuine strat, which is neat. Off I go then. Off I go then. Oh, it's Ponzu. It's Ponzu. We don't have to fight Seer. I'm cool with that. 
Get up in there, use that attack speed buff that we don't apparently have. Oh, this is smooth. Oh, we are we scaled well, man. We scaled well. We scaled well. This feels so good. We almost skipped right into into three three Ponzu head phase. Not that there is. There's only two. There's only two, of course. Uh oh. 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 We've done a bad thing. Oh. Three head phase. Three head phase. Three head phase. Three head phase. Oh, come on. I thought I jumped. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not like this. I mean, if we had to die anywhere, I'd be happy to be the last boss so we get, like, max. Oh, my God. Maximum run time length. Oh no, oh no, we're getting bopped. I'm poisoned, I'm poisoned, I'm poisoned, I'm poisoned. We're getting bopped. Okay, this is good, this is good. Get down here, it's like a weird little safety haven. Okay. If we go all out. Oh god. No! Ads! A lot of them! Holy crap. Nope, get away, get away. That means he's going to do an AoE attack. We actually have 300 health. The Earth sign buff is colossal. We did it. We made our first run of other mine. Holy moly mama mia. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh, golden delicious. Right there, right there. Down we go. Pick up our new crown. More than awesome, holds a laugh, the highest crown of other mine right now. We get two blueprints and an egg. This is like the way to farm the blueprints, man. Fan of knives. Lesser demon. Such a wild pet. I can't wait to explain that, man. And there we go, the other mine crown one. Congratulations on your achievement. Only skilled making out of other mine. Enough navel gazing, you're ready to cast off your possessions in return. Indeed! Plus one crown, we've done it. Oh, boy. And that is where we're going to call it for today. I'll probably just pick up an item at the beginning of the next run. We've got all kinds of stuff upgraded. We're going to need to hatch a couple eggs or something, too. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Like the video if you like it. It's still very early on in the series, so that kind of thing matters a lot. Comment if you have something to say. And if you are new here, please do consider subscribing. Let me know if you want to see more Undermine or Othermine in the comment section below. And please do join the Discord with the link in the description. You can talk about the channel, talk about Undermine, talk about whatever you want within reasons. A friendly, welcoming place. No gatekeeping allowed. All kinds of nice people there. And I also, you know, well, I got gotcha. you. I stream over at twitch.tv slash retromation. I have a Twitch channel, so go check that out. Monday, Wednesday, I stream at 4 p.m. Central. Friday, I stream at 6 p.m. Central. Go check it out, twitch.tv slash retromation. You can find the schedule page there to see when the time I stream is converted to your time. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.